Hi guys, Shiloh Colt here with a book discussion over The Librarian by Christy Sloat. I really wanted to talk about this book because I really thought it was a fresh plot line for YA. Just for a quick recap, I'm going to read the blurb. He's from 1892 England. She's in a small library in 2017. And that's just the start of their troubles. M never meant to stay in Maine. She'd come only to find a librarian for her Graham's library, a custodian for the collection of mysterious books she promised to protect. On a dark wintry night, alone in the library, she takes her first glance into one of the antique novels and finds herself transported to 1892 England, staring into the eyes of a handsome and dashing hero, Jack Ridgewell. As each chapter passes, she learns you can truly fall in love with a character in a book, that book boyfriends are real, and M must choose between the real world and his. When the last page is read, he's gone, and M feels the cold loneliness of lost love. Will she find Jack again? Or will their love be forever lost? The answer lies within the pages. See right there, you can tell it is not your ordinary young adult, which I love. Also, this is an indie read and I love to support my indie authors because I don't think they get enough attention. Hopping into it, Em is such a 19 year old girl. She thinks she knows everything and she really doesn't. She also is very closed off. She will only let people get so close. She lost her parents in a car accident when she was about six. She's been living with her grandmother ever since in this tiny town in Maine. Her grandmother is a librarian there to the only library. And while she loves reading and she loves her grandmother in the library, she's just got this thing about not being stuck there. Everyone else has been stuck there and she's going to get up and do her thing. Which is why we find her where the book starts in California. She's doing really well. She's got her running going on. She's a member of a sorority that she's really involved in and she's holding all her grades because she has a scholarship she has a plan she's going to go to england and study abroad then the awful happens she gets the call her grandmother isn't going to make it so she has to rush home to maine and i feel like there's no young person who hasn't been a little bit self-involved and unable to see the big picture and then later regretted the decisions they made sometimes we're in such a rush to leave everything we've known we don't keep in contact the way that we should and that feeling totally hit home for me. As an only child, I totally get that you want to leave and go do your own thing. But at the same time, there is a, you have these conflicting emotions. And for her, unfortunately, it hit her hard when she couldn't do anything about it. It was so hard to see her watch her grandmother slip away. And then for her grandmother to try to convey things she should have told her a long time ago. And her to slowly uncover what was going on. These particular books that she was supposed to protect are the history of a person. Her bloodline, when they read these books, can go into the history and interact with these people. It is supposed to be their job to record what happens in history and make sure that it happens and it stays that way. Because as you know, you change one or two things in history and you can change the entire world. So they're there to observe and make sure that doesn't happen. So now you see the conflict when she falls in love with Jack Ridgewell. That's an issue because you can't be in love with him in 2017 when he's there. And what happens is Jack kind of goes a little crazy because she disappears and then she reappears and he's in love with her. And she's going back and forth trying to make these decisions as we do when we're 19 because we're stupid. We don't know any better. We're still learning and we have to make the mistakes. And it was so cringeworthy to watch her make mistakes. I wanted to love her, but she just had these moments where I wanted to shake her. And in that way, I felt like Christy was such a good writer because you were right there with her and you were remembering it. But what I also liked that she did was that she showed her growth as a character and as a freaking human being that her eyes were opened. That the things she thought were super important and the people she thought were really her friends weren't. And who hasn't learned that lesson in their lifetime? Many times over, right? I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing her come into her own and really learn to appreciate her line, her job, as she learned what all that involved. And I am a sucker for these stories where you have this secret gift or secret history and you don't know about it, and then you're uncovering it, and then you're on the hunt. It was awesome. I wanted her to be more enthusiastic about it, but seriously, if I was 19 and someone was like, hey, you gotta keep the world from falling apart, I'd have been like, but I got plans. So I totally got that. I think Christy really captured that age. So as you can imagine, a 20th century girl going into the 1800s is going to cause some friction for obvious reasons. This was just a really fun read. It had some really heartfelt moments 
and it was all about growing up discovering where you really belong and maturing if you are interested in learning more about it uh, you can find my review for it on Goodreads which will lead you to the book thanks for joining me I hope you enjoyed the book discussion if you read this book please comment down below I want to talk about it if you read this book please come back and tell me what you thought because I want to talk about it that's why we're here right thanks for joining me and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys.